Hello Internet! So Valentine's Day was this weekend, and every year around Valentine's Day, Lush does a Valentine's Day line, and so I went to go there because I wanted a unicorn horn. So bad. Just so bad. Also, when I looked online, as well as some hauls by other people, there's just some really cute stuff for Valentine's Day, so I wanted to go. Additionally, Lush is cruelty-free, so I like spending my money there on beauty vanity products. The perk of going to Lush was the Valentine's Day stuff, but the reason I went was to get Grease Lightning Cleanser. Sana recommended it for spots. Since my skin has not been very happy this winter, I wanted to get it. She said that it works really well on her skin. It's not a magic solution that will clear your face up overnight, but it also won't dry out your face and it's supposed to kill the bacteria that causes the grossness of spots. Additionally, I got this bath bomb pink, but I already used it, and it smelled so lovely. I also got some dirty tooth tabs. It's basically an on-the-go teeth brushing system. Each box comes with 40, so there's 40 uses. Basically, as long as your mouth has some moisture in it, you can break it up. It creates this froth, and it can clean your teeth. Once I start working, I'll be on public transport all day long, and I won't be home very often. I really wanted to try these so that I can keep my oral hygiene nice and beautiful. So then for the Valentine stuff, I got the In Your Dreams box. It doesn't have its beautiful wrapping because I actually left it at the store itself because I wanted to break in and smell the unicorn horn. Mmm, my goodness. I don't know about now, but the unicorn horn had completely sold out online and in stores, and the only place it was available is in the In Your Dreams box, which, I mean, so worth it. I just hope that I can get my hands on another one before they stop making them for the season. Also, In Your Dreams has the sample size of Prince Charming. I love it so much. I basically walked around the entire store smelling it like this and going like this and walking around. And I'm glad that it came in the sample size because I still have so much left over from my last shower gel that I didn't really want to have a whole another huge shower gel and in the store only the huge ones were left so I'm happy that I can at least have the Prince Charming smell and it will be there for me when my other one runs out. And last, the Kiss was the little lip gloss that was in the kit. It's the newest lip gloss that they have and I used it in the store as a sample and it was great and now that I've shown you I can put it in my purse and it can go with me wherever. In the kits, there are these little directions that explains what it is, and this is actually a bubble bar, and I didn't realize it was a bubble bar, not a bath bomb, so make sure you read your instructions. Like, that's important. So, this is the first haul I've done on my channel for a while, but it's Lush, so I couldn't help myself. I love Lush so much, and hopefully once I get a job and I move closer to the Lush location, I'll be able to replace more of the things in my life with cruelty-free products, because I'll be in a place where I can get them easier, or at least it's easier to get there to buy them. Of course, there's the internet, which is where I do most of my shopping anyway, so, you know. Thanks for watching, and I'll have a new Throwback Thursday video on Thursday, so hopefully you'll look forward to that. Until next time, DFTBA. <sighs> Hello Internet slash Game of Thrones costuming group on Facebook. I've made a couple videos about cosplay to this channel, and because of some comment threads on the Facebook group, I wanted to kind of make a video specifically about my Danny top.